Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving back in here. That's cool. It's The color's turning off because I'm not looking at it. Uh, this is Nathan P. Butler. This, of course, is my YouTube channel. Here you'll find things like From the Stars Home Video Library, uh, uh, Nate's favorite deck building games, uh, so on and so on, uh, along with a bunch of Fantasy Flight games reviews and whatnot, uh, live streams from Battlefront, Let's Plays from various uh, Star Wars-related games. But... Basically today, lots of Let's Play type videos here to try out different games on the PlayStation VR. Hell yes. Uh, the last two that I did streams on just recently today were Batman Arkham VR, which has you basically standing, and you're more or less stationary. You can walk around a little bit within a limited area, but it, it's, it's, it's essentially kind of a, it's almost on rails in a sense. But as I'm playing, uh, at the time I was able to bust out my... Uh, move motion controllers and play with those so you can see the hands floating in front of the screen and everything. I can manipulate things with them. Or I can play with a DualShock controller because all these games can be played with a DualShock 4. Uh, the second game I tried out, one we had, which had me sitting but still using the move controllers or the motion controllers, uh, was Until Dawn Rush of Blood, where you're basically sitting inside a cart going through a funhouse gone freaking crazy. Now we're checking out Rigs, which is actually designed for the DualShock 4. You actually don't have, from what I could see, any option uh, to actually play with the uh, motion controllers. So let's hold down options as it says. Yes. How lovely. Floating in front of me. Um, Rage is an intense all-action sport. We recommend that you start with short play sessions and build up to longer play sessions over time. Please play rigs from a seated position. Game on, pilot. And I'm seated right now. Um trying to get used to still like exactly how to have this on my head with my glasses um it's not uncomfortable it's just i have a tendency to put my glasses so close to my eyes that my eyelashes are smudging it um thankfully the actual unit comes with a little lint-free cloth you can use to take care of your glasses lenses or also the lenses uh on the hmd the uh, head mounted display itself so let's check it out Trying to stay as steady as I can so nobody's going to puke trying to watch this. This is, by the way, the 3D audio uh, earbuds that I'm using, which come with uh, a microphone built into where it plugs into the inline attachment on the wire. Whoa! Each season, they come from all over the world. It's like Tron! I haven't played this yet, by the way. Damn! Yeah, 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 caramba! Boom! Okay. That's what I'm apparently going to be in, one of these. There's different models, apparently. Different rigs. Oh, yeah! Yeah, and again, you have like a 360 degree field of vision, but I guess if you turn all the way around, it's going to be able to tell where your head is, but not necessarily where your motion controllers are if you're using those. Shit! I'm looking up at Robot Crotch! I know, I'm kind of speaking loud. Let me turn my volume down. Uh, I don't know if you can see the volume control or not, but I'm turning the volume down in my headphones so I'm not screaming at you. That is so cool. Oh, shit! He jumped down right next to me. Holy crap. Nice. Very, very nice. Now, is the gameplay nice? That's the question. Uh, male or female? I am... Oh, okay. So I can control it with the... Oh, I thought I was controlling it with the controller. I'm not. I'm actually just looking, kind of like in the menus for Batman VR. Or Batman Arkham VR. So, press and hold for male. I'm a dude. That is correct. I am a dude. Dude. Cool. Kind of looks like it's floating in front of you. Again, basically what you've got with the HMD is you've got a uh, 1920 by t RGB by 1080 screen. Uh, the 1920 divided in half to 960 per eye. And it's stereoscopic 3D, so slightly different visuals for each eye, so that you're basically um, playing in 3D. Uh, 
The RGB refers to how each of the 960 pixels that are in each of the 1080 horizontal lines of resolution has a separate sub-pixels for red, green, and blue. In order to make the, the image a little more vivid, uh, the screen itself is a 5.7 inch OLED screen. Uh, OLED meaning uh, it's an LED screen, but it's got an organic layer on the top of it. It's the same type of screen that was used for the original PlayStation Vita. Uh, so it gives you a crisp image for the dark colors, though honestly it does, I mean, it's still going to be a little bit washed out, a little bit less defined, um, because you are playing this on a screen that's you know, way the hell up against your eyes. And apparently it takes a while to load this game. Though it is, again, the first time i played it, so if it's having to load anything special or create a profile or anything like that, it certainly seems to be doing so now. Cool. Uh, the display, again, the head-mounted display, pretty comfortable. It's not really putting a lot of pressure on your face. Um, a little bit on my, my forehead, though not much. Uh, most of the weight is carried on the back of your head. At some point, I'll break out my iPad and just do a quick recording of what all this setup looks like. Hey, welcome to the team. One second and I'll be right with you. What's up? And yeah, it does seem a little blurrier on here right than on the other games so far. This guy is one of our biometric scanners. He's just going to record some data to complete your profile. All right. I've been looking at your stats. Your last season as a semi-pro was outstanding, but this is the big league. Time to really show what you can do. All right. I gotta keep kicking I'm the cat away from the cable without being able to see her. Chief, for short. The team and I will maintain tricks at optimal performance. Run training exercises, provide tactical information during a match. Everything you need to be a winner. To be a wiener? Awesome. First, there to do are that, don't I just sex people? We need to go oh, to not wiener, not speed. Anthony. We've prepped a test rig, so we can set it up just how you like it. Sound good? Let's sure. Let's get started then. Let's do this. It's kind of weird not actually seeing my body or my hands in front of me this time. It's tougher, faster, and a whole lot meaner than the hardware you're used to. All right. Cool. This is a hunter class chassis. She might seem small compared with other rig types you'll encounter, but she's got it where it counts in terms of speed and maneuverability. Sure, Han Solo. She's equipped with twin auto-reloading assault cannons. These are the most advanced sticks on the market, giving you hair trigger control over movement and firing. All right. She has state-of-the-art servos and actuators throughout her chassis, allowing her let to me get in? with any terrain. Pretty cool, right? Okay, time to get you on board, I think. Let's right. get her in position. I'm just going to call in a drone to lift you into the rig. Okay, ah, which I'm assuming is going to show up down. above me. There it is. Whoa! Again, this is all about that 360. Are you sitting comfortably? Woo! Great. Shit! Then let's power up your heads up no, those aren't my so actual hands. Um, I'm holding a DualShock 4 controller in front running. of me. Dude! By aligning your rig's aiming Holy features. crap, this is Entering cool. Calibration mode now. It feels like it's like two or three feet in front of me, that screen. And as I'm turning, Turn it's turning the cannons. At the center of the target until it lights Sweet. Up. Nice. Good. Next position now. And it looks like you're actually in the gear. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'll follow your freaking instructions. Yes, sir. So it's kind of like Arkham VR where you have to aim with your head on those guys that are with Penguin. To scan them. Yep, that's good. Whoa! It is cool though. It's almost, it's like you're inside with like a holographic kind of display or maybe like a glass display. I'm so taken by the surroundings. I'm not bothering to do the tutorial. Okay, my bad. My or calibration or whatever it is. Time to have some fun. Let's All right. move on to some target practice. I'm loading the target range. All right. Okay, and there's a ceiling. I'm assuming that's my health. I feel like I want to point to things because it feels like it's right in front of me, but it's not. And I move my arm, and it's it kind of weirds my brain out that my you can fire just arm one at can't be seen. Both fire All right. The right weapon now and destroy these targets. By doing what? R2. Great. 
So I aim by now looking. Take out these targets with your left weapon. Great. Remember, you can fire both weapons at the same time. Squeeze those triggers. Excellent. Watch the ammo counters at the sides of your HUD. Oh, okay. Your weapons will reload automatically when not firing. All right, good. Let's get back to reality. Hey, back to reality. Oh, the ghost gravity. Oh, sorry. Sorry, my bad. Next, I'll remove your rig's rotation lock, and we'll okay. practice turning your rig about. Ah, shit. Here's the drone again. Same deal as before, but this time, your rig will turn to face the drone as you look toward it. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, to the left. Whoa. Yup. That, I would imagine, is going to run the risk of making me go barf. Over to the right now. Uh, it's pretty smooth, though. I guess because the left and right isn't actually... I mean, this, this up and down movement moves my guns, but left and right is all on a nice, smooth plane. Back to center. I beat you to it. Good stuff. If you say so, Hoss. Now, let's get your eye in with some more target practice. Loading All the right. range again. Okay. Bad that I've got like an itch on the top of my head and I can't reach it because the headset's on. All right. Wow. All right. How, about... How very danger room. Okay, so basically, it's not bad. Impressive. Turning my head aims, turning my head also turns me. It's nice just a question job. of degree. Or degrees. You have, by the way, a uh, the amount of vision, apparently, that you can get out of these at any one time. It's almost like you're wearing goggles. Nice work. Um, it's uh, 100 degrees at a 90 or 120 frames per second uh, games are required to run at at least 60 frames per second uh, which it then uses a process whose name I forget to turn into 120 uh, it's not interp interpolation though um, it runs with a maximum of 18 millisecond that latency head turning where your rig automatically steers in the direction to which you are okay. looking your rig has an alternate control method where you manually turn using okay. the right stick would you right. like to try this manual method of turning, or carry on with the head mode? Would I like to try it? Okay, we'll try I it. switched your control style over. The drone's back. Use the right stick to turn to face it. What's weird is when I do that, it's narrowing... I guess you guys can see it. It's like it's narrowing my field Don't of vision. Don't forget to use the right stick to turn your rig, but aim with your head. Okay, to the left. I don't know about this. I may just use the other way. I don't like that narrowing of the field of vision thing. Over to the right now. Gently does it. We recommend starting in, sl in short play sessions. Nearly done. Well, okay. But this short play session so far has all been calibration. Good stuff. Yeah. I prefer the other way. Here's the target range again. All right. Well, let's see how practical that is. Okay. Nah, having it be the right stick kind of sucks. If it was the left stick, it might make sense for players of first-person shooters, but having it be the right stick? No, hell no. Superb.
Yeah, fuck that. I'm switching back to the other way. Oh, for the love of... This one is starting to get me a little motion sick compared okay. to the other ones. But then again, I've already got a headache. Not from this, per se. Just got a headache. to continue using this method of turning or go back to the head turn method very head good turn. you can change your control style in your options menu at any time now it's time to stretch those servos turn to face the exit door I join you in another hunter rig. I'll be running the course with you, demonstrating some of the exercises and keeping you company. Okay, unlocking your leg servos now. Follow me. We'll be at a reduced speed until we get into the arena. We run routine diagnostics on various rig chassis in here. Check it out. Yeah, except Here it's making whoa. Oh. Heavy armor and a powerful melee attack. I'm gonna talk about Make motion sick. A real bruiser. Meet me on the elevator when you're ready. Let's see how far I can get with this before I gotta stop. <sighs> Seriously. test arena where we'll carry out the rest of your training you'll be able to return here later to try out new rigs I'm initializing your tracking system there's a radar and a map version you can toggle between them in the options menu once we start moving about the arena you may want to try the alternate steering method you can do that in your options menu as well okay here we are I'll be spawning in pickups and targets for you to collect and destroy. Let's start with something basic. I've spawned a handful of pickups around the arena floor. Go hunt them down now. I get I've a feel for how this is resting on my nose. I think it's the fact that you're moving, but you're not really Use moving. Radar to locate the pickup like, you don't have quite the them. same sense of momentum as you do in Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. I don't know, I may wind up switching control schemes again. I thought looking was better, but damn. accessible by the Hunter and Tempest rig classes. Use them for cover to make sneak attacks or take shortcuts around the arena. Okay. Alright, yeah, there's another one over there. I'm gonna switch controls. That's smoother, at least. Good. Okay, here's the next round of pickups. I've added some targets to the mix as well. Shoot them down. Ooh you can use your rig's melee attack for a small burst of speed. 
Just press R3. Okay, yeah, I am absolutely going to have to stop this for a minute. I am just whew, in and out, in and out. I'm going to kill the stream, sit down for a second, get my equilibrium back, come back into the game, restart the stream. I apologize, this is my first day with the VR stuff, and it is really thrilling me, this game. Um, but I'll be back, fairly soon, wherever we left off.